What is the number one piece of advice that HR executives give to employees? Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of The Future in 5. My name is Jacob Morgan. This is where I share my thoughts, ideas, and commentary on the future of work in five minutes or less. Before we get to this week's topic, I want to give a big thanks to the folks over at Work Market for making this episode possible. Work Market's a vendor in the freelance management system space. They help organizations and freelancers find and connect. So if you're an organization looking to work with freelancers or a freelancer looking to get more gigs, you might want to check out workmarket.com. So uh, one more thing I also want to mention is that I finally got a new camera. I'm filming on a, a Canon T6. I have a lav mic now. Uh, before I was filming everything on an iPhone 6. And some people gave me some feedback saying that they'd like to see better audio, better video quality. Still learning how to use the Canon. This is my first DSLR, so bear with me while I figure everything out. But uh, hopefully the audio and video quality will be better and I'm also going to be doing some really cool video stuff in the next coming months as well. I bought a whole uh, studio setup, uh, white background, uh, big lights, all that sort of fun uh, and good stuff. So stay tuned for that in the coming months. So back to the topic at hand, which is the number one piece of advice that HR executives and talent and people leaders are giving to employees. So first, let me tell you where this actually came from. Uh, as you know, I have a weekly podcast where I interview a lot of business leaders and executives. I interview CEOs, CHROs, uh, people in technology, innovation, etc. I also have the Future of Work show, which you can find on this same YouTube channel. And I've interviewed a lot of companies over the past few months. Uh, I mean, I've spoken with people like the Chief Human Resource Officer of Staples, Chief Human Resource Officer of Pandora, Chief Human Resource Officer of Cisco, uh, the Chief Learning Officer at SAP, uh, CEO of Glassdoor. I mean, I've spoken to a lot of organizations and a lot of executives that are either responsible for the company as a whole or are responsible for the people and the talent function of their organizations. And I always ask them the same question. What is the number one piece of advice that you would give to employees for how they should stay relevant and adapt in this rapidly changing world? And who wants to guess what they said? It's something that I've talked about many, many times. And the number one piece of advice that all these talent and HR and executives are uh, giving to employees is learn how to learn. The big challenge, and I'll give you a few examples of this actually. So the big challenge for a lot of people today, we're starting to see things change very quickly in the workplace. Skills are starting to become outdated. By the time we graduate college, a lot of the things that we learn are, are no longer relevant. So the number one thing that these talent and HR and people and just overall executives are looking for are the ability for employees to learn how to learn. It's not only what executives are looking for, but it's also what people like you watching this need to consciously be aware of. You have to learn how to learn new things. In fact, uh, Ernst & Young, EY, they even just announced that they're no longer looking at your college degree when, when evaluating you, right? It's, it's, and other organizations are starting to follow suit. So what happens when we live in a world where your previous knowledge and your previous academic um, academic credentials, I should say, are no longer as relevant and as valid in today's world. Uh, so that's the one aspect of it. The second aspect of it is we're approaching a world where a lot of people are predicting robots, automation, all these things taking over jobs. What do you do in that type of environment? Well, obviously you have to learn new skills. And this is especially relevant for people that are in, well, all sorts of industries, uh, whether you're a driver, whether you're in manufacturing, whether you're in food services, even a lot of knowledge workers, mid-level managers, they're starting to say that a lot of that is going to be replaced by robots and automation. So what do we do in that type of environment? Well, you have two choices. Uh, one is you sit and wait for these things to actually threaten your job. Or two is to look out into the future a little bit, five, ten years, and see that this is coming your way and start to learn new things now. 
In other words, you don't want to wait until the fire is at your doorstep. You want to wait until you see the smoke miles and miles away. When you see the smoke, you know it's time to change. And I'm here to tell you guys that the smoke is on the horizon. A lot of people are already talking about robots and automation. A lot of people are talking about the importance of developing new skills. It's the number one thing that a lot of these HR and talent managers and executives are looking for. So I just want to kind of drive that point across that the smoke is on the horizon. Don't wait. Start to think about your career, where you wanna be in a few years, and start to take advantage of these online courses that you can take. Uh, there's a lot of um, open online courses that you can take. There are websites like Udemy and Khan Academy and Coursera. You can learn things on YouTube. You can learn things on lynda.com. I mean, there are a lot of places that you can go to learn new things. So don't wait for your job to be at risk of being replaced before you do these things. Start to think, you know, five, 10 years out, what are some of the things that you wanna be doing or thinking about or exploring? And start to do that now. You might be in manufacturing, but really have a passion for marketing. Take those marketing courses. You might be in food services, but really have a passion for, um, you know, data and analytics. So start learning about these things now. Don't wait for it's too, before it's too late. Um, and again, this is the number one thing that HR executives are telling me. It's the number one way that you can future-proof your career. It's the number one way that you can make sure that you stay relevant. Learn how to learn, always be learning, pay attention to all the resources that are out there, and don't wait for your job to be at risk before you realize that, hey, wait a minute, maybe I should be learning new skills and getting additional training. We can't rely on organizations. We can't rely on educational institutions. The only thing that you can rely on is you. So take things into your own hands. It's up to you, your responsibility, your accountability. So go out and learn how to learn. That's it for me. That's the message that I kind of wanted to get across. I think it's really important. It's valuable. It's something that I've talked about many, many times. And I just hope that this gets across. It's the number one thing, like I said, that HR and talent and just executives in general are, are telling me. Curious to hear what you think, leave me a comment below. Uh, what are you doing to stay relevant? Are you seeing similar things happen in the workplace? Do you disagree with what I'm saying? Is there something else that's more valuable that you think we can and should be doing? If you wanna get more access to episodes of these videos and podcasts and articles and the Future of Work show, where I actually go inside of companies and interview executives and show their offices, uh, visit thefutureorganization.com. Also, make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. And of course, you can always find me on Twitter. Uh, my Twitter handle there is at Jacob M. And if you have a topic you want me to cover, if you're interested in teaming up and sponsoring a series of these episodes, you can always email me, jacob at thefutureorganization.com. I'll see you next time on an episode of The Future in Five. Hey, are you interested in the future of work? If so, make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel so you can get all the latest content on the future of work and stay up to date on all the latest trends and happenings. Not to mention, you will make me very, very happy. Make sure to subscribe.